Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter, and welcome to my weapon preview for the Lance in the demo of Monster Hunter Rise. Like my other videos, this is footage taken from a early access preview version of the demo. Uh, so there may be some differences, but thank you Capcom for the early access. And I just wanted, this is not a tutorial, it's not a walkthrough guide. I just want to show you sort of the moves that I've found so far in the demo and just give you my overall feelings and impressions and show you what it looks like uh, in moving motion. It's nice to see these scenes outside of trailers. So the Lance is absolutely solid. Um, there's not a whole lot different uh, from the previous games, but the changes that they do have, I think, are pretty significant. So uh, let's go through. The first thing I want to note here is that in the weapon preview, they did not show a triple poke. And I said I was a little worried that maybe they got rid of it. Well, I'm happy to tell you that they did not. Boom. You got your triple pokes, um, and that goes for both horizontal and vertical. So I'm very happy about that. What they did add is if you hit X and A, normally you do this nice wide sweep, which is really good for crowd control and other things like that. Well, they now have the ability to charge it to do a more powerful attack. So if you hold them down, you can charge it to do a powerful strike. You can do this after the first jab, or you can do it after a second jab, but it does not appear that you can do it after a third poke. So in order to do a constant uh, combo, you still need to do counter guards like this, um, but that's pretty easy and we're pretty used to it. So one of the things that's back from Monster Hunter World, which I absolutely adore, is hold down the guard button and press A. You'll go into a counter, now press B during that, and you'll go into a power guard. So your stamina will go down much faster, but you'll do a much more powerful uh, guard, uh, meaning that you can circumvent some of the skill uh, requirements for the guarding, and it allows you to do a very powerful counterattack. And it gets really easy to do once you get used to it. So you can just do stuff like this, power guard, into a thrust and back and stuff like that. The guard advance is still in the game. So if you're holding down guard and you hit forward and press X, you could do the guard advance. From there, you can press A to do the sort of jumping poke. Uh, you could do side steps. You could do pokes and stuff like that. The cool thing about the guard advance is that it can be done in any direction. So check this out. Do it to the side. You can do it to the back as well. You could do it right after a side evade. You can do all sorts of funky like steps. Like it's really bizarre. <laughs> I love it. Let me let my stamina get back so I can show you sort of them in motion here. Uh, but you can sit here and do stuff like poke, 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 back guard, backside step, backside step, back over here, over here, guard back. <laughs> It's really funky, and you got your shield up the entire time you're doing the guard advance. So if you want, you can think of it as a very powerful sidestep, actually. Okay, other than that, you do have your regular stuff, so if you want to do your charge, you can do that. You can end it with a pokey pokey. You can, of, oops. You can, of course, also turn around and whoosh, whap like that. Or if you want, you can do a jump attack as well. So yeah, Lance mobility is just ridiculous as always. And you can do back, uh, large back hops as well. There you go. And of course the uh, sort of aerial attack is just a nice Lance thrust. So Lance has tons of speed and mobility. Uh, it's got that new charge uh, wide swipe. It's gonna be really good for crowd control. And we'll check out how powerful that is in just a second. But on top of that, it also has two new arts. So by holding down the ZL button, or ZL, depending on what region you're from, and pressing X or A will activate one of the two. So doing on A is the power guard. Uh, it's not what it's called, but it's this is like the enraged guard one. Um, so it's a very short window, but not bad. Uh, and if you get hit, uh, it will power up your lance for a small period of time, based upon how powerful that attack was. One thing to note, and I will show this in this video, is that it does not last that long. Um, likewise, it only takes one wire bug, so that's actually not so bad. So if you know you're going to get hit and you have a wire bug, go ahead and do it. Get some power up and use it to punish the monster. The other one takes two wire bugs, so it's pretty expensive to do. Uh, and that's the one where you lodge a kunai in the monster. It goes like this. And then it sort of tethers you to the monster. And then after that, if you're holding ZL, you can press B and it'll allow you to do a running guarded jump at the monster's body part. Just wait for a good opportunity here to do it. Here we go. Ooh, I got him right in the foot. So now I could just hold L and B, and I do this guarding advance towards him. Well, that's cool. I can also uh, jump and do it as well. 
It's almost like an unlimited jumping attack. It's got to hurt. Oh, now he's ready to be mounted. So I guess it's good if you want to do mounting as well. Um, it didn't seem like it was taking up my stamina, uh, which is nice. Let's go ahead and just whap him in a wall here. I'm not interested in doing too much. So let's check out that uh, side swipe. So normally, 19 here. 57, so yeah, that's that's a healthy amount. That's a huge jump. Here's the enraged guard, so that's really nice. And if you notice, it's gone already, so it does not last for a very long time. It's another reason, again, why it's only uh, one uh, wire bug point. Arzuros is quite uh, a handful in the demo. I think you guys will be surprised at how capable the bear is at actually moving around and getting the best of you as you try to figure out all your silk bind attacks. There we go. Now we're hooked in. So if you notice, all we have to do now is hold L, uh, Z, L, and hit B. And we do this wonderful charge at him. So, I mean, it's neat. Um, I won't say that it's the... I mean, you're pretty safe when you're doing it. Um, you're not using your stamina, which is nice. But um, it's it's going to take some getting used to. Especially the fact that I'm tethered onto his back, but I'm hitting his face more than anything. So, I'm not sure I would be using this skill a whole lot. Um, but it is what it is. So you see all these small Izichi? This is where the crowd control is really going to come in handy with that side smack. It's so powerful. If you notice the Rathian's fire now lingers on the ground. It has a really nice effect. I like that a lot. Yeah, so you can see the, the Lance is just a really great matchup for some of these monsters. Where's it going? Is it going to disappear? No, it actually flies. Unlike Acnosome. So the Acnosome that disappeared in that one demo that we got, it seems like that's a specific thing for that monster, which is cool. So if we notice it's going near base camp, uh, this is a good time to show you guys that you can actually fast travel in this game. I know, it's crazy. So you can fast travel back to main camp. The fact that there's a selectable list tells me that you could probably unlock uh, other fast travel points, which would be very nice. Uh, where's my bombs? <laughs> I think I'm more hurting myself than I am hurting the monster. Okay, enough of that. Let's let's finish her off. I want to get that tail though. She will not give me the tail. I shall take it by force. <laughs> okay, let's see. Fair material. Yeah, a fireball to the face. That's a rare enough material, isn't it? <laughs> and I fainted. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo of the Lance. Hopefully it shows you guys just that it's solid as it always has been. The new Hunter arts are interesting, if not a little situational for this weapon, I feel. Uh, but yeah, lots of potential with that nice wide swipe. Uh, that is a very cool new move set for this. And just having the power guard back, I think, is just awesome. And of course, the guard advance, if you get used to it, can be quite versatile as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you notice anything else interesting about this weapon in the demo that I may have missed. And until next time, happy hunting.